everybody, and welcome to All Games No Masters, the GM list branch of the RPG Explorationist Society here at Saving Throw Show. Welcome to all of our explorers. I'm going to stop really fast and say how proud I am because I did all of that without looking at the prompter, and I did it perfectly. Wow. <laughs> Victory is mine. It only took eight episodes. It won't ever get any better than that. Um <laughs> Make sure to check out our friends over at Die Hard Dice, where you can save 10% off by using the code NATURAL20 at checkout. Use command exclamation point D-H-D-I-C-E uh, in chat for links and info. The code only works to the end of this month, so if you want that good dice, you have until March is over. Get on that. You can order our friend CB's dice set, whom you know from New Pantheon, and get your 10% off there, so it's like helping both of your friends out. So why don't you do that? Lastly, we want to welcome any watchers of the VOD on YouTube or listeners of our podcast and remind you to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell so that you never miss any of our uh, uploads and videos. And uh, we also love hearing from y'all, uh, which means that you should definitely join the Saving Throw Show Discord. And I'm sure there's a link for that going up in chat as I say it. Um, you can send a toast to this crew which we will read out loud via tips and bits uh, or gifts, gifted subs. And for $15, uh, $15, 1500 bits or five gifted subs, you can submit a kind and clean message and uh, we will read it live. Uh, we say kind and clean. We do have to like remember that Max is here. So we'll see how kind and how clean it actually stays. I'll, um, I'll read the dregs. <laughs> <laughs> um, your support helps keep the channel operating and uh, our cast paid. So we want to thank you and say how much we appreciate each and every one of you uh, for the amazing things that you do. Uh, and stay tuned until the end of the episode for more exciting news and announcements. Uh, but until then, I want to introduce the rest of my incredible cast without whom I could have done absolutely none of this and who I adore, treasure, and am so happy to play with every week. Let us start nice. with Mm, they're not lies. I only say the true things. Um, let's start with Amanda. Amanda, please introduce yourself. Hello, I am Amanda, um, and today I am a cat. I don't know if you can tell. Very cute. All right, and then let's introduce Randy. Hello, uh, my name is Randy. I will be playing Darius, who is a raven. Ooh. All right, let's introduce our Chaos King, Max Isaacson. Uh, Listen, everybody. you wake up every day and choose chaos. Don't pretend you don't. No, I choose a nice orderly life and then put on a mask. Uh, <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Max. Uh, I'm going to be playing uh, Legua, the scorpion. Very exciting. And of course, I am Aki, um, and I will be playing Sorrel the Bull. Today, everyone, we are going to be playing the phenomenal card-driven role-playing game for the Queen. Um, One second, real quick. Sorry, I didn't say my name. Can I say my oh, name? Oh, yes, please say yeah. your name. So I am Sugi the Cat. There we go. The, the, yes. the desert, the sand cat. Sugi the sand cat. Randy the Raven, uh, Legua the Scorpion. <laughs> there is the Raven. There is Randy it. the Raven. There, there is the Raven. raven. Legua. Alliteration. Yeah, that's what happened. Um, Legua the Scorpion and Sorrel the Bull. Um, so uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to do a read through of the rules for you. Uh, we are using Roll20 today in order for you to be able to see all of the beautiful and wonderful designs that are on these cards. Um, but uh, for the meantime, uh, I will start and then we're going to go in the order of myself, Amanda, Randy, Max, myself, Amanda, Randy, Max, in that order. Uh, so I will start with the first instruction that our lovely technical director will make sure you are also able to see. Um, go around the table clockwise, taking turns reading these cards aloud. The land you live in has been at war for as long as any of you have been alive. The queen has decided to undertake a long and perilous journey to broker an alliance with a distant power. The queen has chosen all of you 
and no one else to be her retinue and accompany her on this journey. She chose you because she knows that you love her. You are welcome to look through the queen cards for inspiration. If there is one that seems right for the group, place it on the table to inspire your story. Set the card that reads, the queen is under attack. Do you defend her aside? Shuffle the red prompt cards and place them face down in the center of the table. When you have read the instruction cards, continue clockwise with the red prompt cards. Take turns reading the questions out loud. Interpret these questions and answer them however you wish. Other players may ask you questions or make suggestions on your turn, but whether you answer those questions or include those suggestions is entirely up to you. Place the X card somewhere everyone can easily reach it. If you encounter a card or an answer that you don't want to be included in the game, tap the X card. That content is removed from the game. If you draw a card that is removed this way, simply draw another card. You can X a card that you drew yourself. You can also pass on your turn. To do so, give the prompt card you drew to the next player and say, I'd like to hear your answer to this question. A prompt card can be passed around the table until someone applies the X card to it. Continue answering, passing, and Xing questions until the queen is under attack is drawn. Each player should answer that question in turn. Then the game is over. Whoever wants to can draw the first prompt card. Cool. So the first thing that we have to do, there is one card that I did not read, and there is a reason for this, uh, mostly because this game can be played in, in, in varying lengths. Uh, shorter games will be about 30 minutes, and longer games will last about two hours. Um, so one card that I read basically insinuated that, like, <clears throat> shuffle the deck, the, the Queen is Under Attack is probably going to show up in around 30 minutes. Not with this group, I promise you. Um, <laughs> Uh, so I didn't bother to draw that card. Um, but uh, uh, full disclosure, we had the opportunity to kind of get together uh, for our weekly meeting before this show to kind of look over the queens and uh, see which one we wanted to uh, to serve and let that sort of influence uh, a few of our character cho choices. Hence why we've already come in with like names and a couple of basic premises. Um, but uh, I will go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to uh, choose a car, uh, the, the correct card and deal it to our technical director, Dom, so that he can show you all which card we picked. Uh, if I can find her in my deck, which for some reason... Oh, there she is. Uh, if you want to take that card, Dom. Or actually, no, don't worry about it. I'm just going to put it on the queen uh, spot. So that's our queen. Ooh, oh, look at her. She's yes. very, very rad. We like her very much. Um, but yeah, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shuffle our queen card, uh, our queen deck. And then I'm going to yeet from the game as the GM and rejoin as the player. Yeah, we don't we don't need those. We don't yeah. need we no, don't that's need not, GMs that's here. against the law. It is absolutely against the law. All right. So whoever wants to start first may draw the first punk card. We went clockwise the first time, so I feel good about going clockwise uh, counterclockwise yeah. for our punk oh. cards. So that will start with Max. Otherwise oh, known as shit. Legua. Oh no. So oh, Max uh, okay. Randy me you. Yeah, and if you want okay. to, uh, Max, you can start off with like who you are and a description maybe of your character and whatever details you feel like revealing now and uh, which ones to know. Right. Well, I don't know a lot about my guy. I feel like I'm, we're going to learn a lot together as a group of friends and and uh, and an entourage, a retinue, as we were described. Um, 
I am a scorpion. Uh, my name is Legua. I have a pokey butt that poisons people. That's about all I got. Maybe some so snappy fitting. snaps. <laughs> You don't all, even have to act for that, Max. That's no, just it's reality. It's all the things I already have. A pokey <laughs> butt that poisons people and some snappity snaps. That's why uh, I only talk to you from the front. Yeah. Oh, God. So it's very dangerous uh, when people talk to my ass. Yeah, never approach. Never mind. <laughs> I'm going to discontinue that I was like thought. this close to getting up to We're Pandora. already talking about butts. It took like five minutes. <sighs> it's, that's my secret power. You think it's chaos. It's butt chat. Anyway, all sorry. Right. <laughs> Let's see. What do I got? Um, First prompt. Ooh, let me drop it out here. What do you do to disappoint the queen on this journey? Ooh, oh, we're starting off spicy. Brutal. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a small question. Yeah. Um, okay. I would say that as we've begun our journey the queen has obviously relegated delegated tasks to each of the members of the retinue or whatever it is she wants them to do she has asked legua to go and go well well ahead of the party and and just kind of begins scouting their path quietly and silently. You know, he just kind of scuttles along the ground unnoticed. As he went out, he began to kind of lose his way in the darkness. And I start to kind of see this piece of cactus or that dune or whatever all start to kind of repeat and become the same. And I, as I lose my way, I, 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 I realize I have no idea where I'm going and cannot return until morning when I can see clearly across the desert that we're traversing and can see where, where the retinue is, is coming from. And I return with almost nothing, no information of, of what lays ahead, no information of whether it is safe or dangerous or anything along those lines. And so I kind of come and prostrate myself before the queen and beg for forgiveness. And I don't think she gives it to me. I think most likely she has a little cage that she's already set up that I am then put in and, is, and put on display for everybody else to remind them of my failures. Okay. That's... Yeah. Here's my question is like, as we're playing this, right? Like, I, I, I feel like this is one of those games where like you could like role play as part of the answer, but you don't necessarily have to. Um, I don't know. We didn't really discuss. Do we want to like make a little scene after or do we want to depend on the card? Mm -hmm. I want to get a feel for what we're doing up in here. Cause Very fair. <laughs> I personally am all about doing scenes where so we feel I. appropriate. I, I yeah, think that sure. uh, I think I think That's this is an opportunity okay. for us to sort of approach right. the cage yeah. and yeah. like sort of get some uh, some uh, do a little bit of ribbing. You know, whoever it is that wants to engage with this, I will yeah. then. Sure, why not? Um, so Suvi waits until Lego has been in the cage for a while and just kind of like pads over there. And it's just like, I don't know why they sent a tiny bug to scout instead of, I don't know, me? Because I could see you coming a mile away. Quiet little pads don't mean much against a horizon. You couldn't yeah, see me until you got here. But being this big doesn't really help either, does it? Like, well. It'll help plenty when I hide in the folds of your blankets while you're sleeping, big cat. You wouldn't dare. I sleep with the queen. <laughs> Not anymore, you don't. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do about it? Oh. 
Not much from here. But she always opens it up. And I'm well, always let out again. We certainly hope no one larger than you accidentally, I don't know, steps on you, rips off your tail, some other unfortunate accident that might befall someone as tiny as you. Anyway, anyway, so, you know, see you when you get out, whenever that might be. She just pads away, just slinks away down. Just like clicking at the bars. <laughs> Hate that cat. Hate that cat. <laughs> All right. Uh, could could I also? Because I feel like my character would also come to check you out. So sure, uh, I'm here. Sort of waiting for uh, for uh, what's what's your name, Suvi, to sort of wander off. Uh, you you see, sort of a, a a quick flutter, and then um. Hey, um, <laughs> nice, n nice, uh, uh, nice job there. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm joking. That's what uh, everyone said. You don't have to hide. I know it wasn't on purpose, but the the queen, she, she should have sent me. You know, <laughs> I can fly. I can see. Um, Why do you think she didn't? Um, I don't know. Uh, she she doesn't like giving me things that really matter. She, um, she says I messed them up, but I've not. I haven't messed them up as bad as you. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't. Have said You're that. not a very tactful bird, you know. <laughs> um. No. I don't think you're here to make enemies. No, no. I I, I don't want to be your enemy. I'm, I'm just trying... I don't know. Uh, better luck next time. And then he sort of just flies away. <laughs> Fucking cage. <laughs> just like... <laughs> Kill list. <laughs> Suvi. <laughs> Their ass. <laughs> Sorrel doesn't see any need to go over and harass Legwa. They've been there. They know how it can be. Not Sorrel. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Cool. So let's go ahead and uh, see who's next. Good, right. I am going to pull this one. So it says, you saw the queen do something terrible to keep the retinue safe. What was it? Did you come to respect her more or less afterwards? So I think that the queen, hmm, she's done something terrible to keep us safe. All right, so, ooh, ooh, I know. Okay, so during uh, our, our trek through this, this desert, um, there are sandstorms that, that periodically happen. Um, to keep us safe, the, uh, the queen used some of her magic, so she has magic, to, uh, sort of drain the life out of like all the cacti, like everything in like a field around where the retinue wa was. And from it, just like these bone structures just jet out of the sand, just <laughs> And that is sort of what shields us from this uh, oncoming onslaught of, of sand. But at the same time, uh, we, are slightly weakened. She doesn't take all of our energy on purpose, but everything else around us is dead. So, I, and it's a desert, which is kind of like a yellowy or orangey color, I'd imagine. I'd like to say that it's now a little bit grayer right around here. 
but we have a bone protector yeah. thing. Is that? Oh. Yeah. She she's she's got the magic. I mean, bones. What kind have... of bones are they? I don't know. <laughs> they are. All sorts. No, I, I like to imagine that they're giant, like 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 mastodon, like skeleton, like giant. Like when you go to a museum and you see those as a kid, I guess, and you see like giant skeletons all over it. That except like times four. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, and so uh, I think uh, I would be inside of this thing, very fearful, very terrified. I, I, I would go over to Sorrel and I'd be like, Sorrel, this is scary. You quick like leaf, little friend. I mean, yeah, it's, it's terrifying out there. I'm tired. We are all, well, I never tire, not of anything. But I tell you, Theris, you must learn to be as tough and as strong as your beak. My beak? It's your like, beak. <laughs> What's that gonna do? You, oh, but, but I have been practicing to fly and, and to make her happy. Maybe if I make the queen happier, then, then uh, you know, she'll, she'll, she'll like me and she'll send me on missions like, like she sends other people. You do realize that turning you into this form was probably as merciful a gift as she could have given you. Oh, I know. She said it wasn't even worth trying to kill me, that it was it was worse if she just kept my useless self around. <laughs> and I like I like to imagine that, that, that I could change her mind someday. <laughs> if she really had no use for you at all, you would indeed be dead. I think you should learn that your fear is not something that should overwhelm you, but should instead be a source of power and strength. She's so strong. You're right. Thank you, thank you, Sorrel. I want to say at that at that moment, like Suvi's been like quietly like stalking up behind um, Theris and just like is right right there so that if he turns around and just goes boom. <laughs> Suvi. Why but it's funny. That? I am not just questioning bird. the merit of the humorousness of your actions, but well actually no keep doing it. I have heard I, that exposure therapy is very helpful. Oh, no, 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 we what, should not. And, well, and I mean, what other fun is there to find in the desert? It's just a whole lot of, I mean, as ho as at home as I may feel, it is, there's not a whole lot to it, you know? And we've been going for ages. It's so boring. I mean, that's why I've been riling up Legua. At least getting stung will be entertaining. Well, for now... This sandstorm should be entertaining enough. I have to admit, mm. the queen's power is formidable, and it seems to be growing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. how is that bad? As part of her, as part of her traveling retinue, all that does is raise us up. Oh, I do not think it is bad at all. I think it is, I like working for strong people. I like working for clever ones. Those two sometimes go hand in hand. With anyway. our queen, I certainly think so. Anyway, I got what I came for. Bye, Theris. Sure. She is someone who grows on you. And besides, it doesn't matter if we like her. The queen does. She's, she, you're right. I just want the storm to be over. It will be soon. And you will come out of it alive, thanks to the strength of our queen. 
Right. Right. Okay. And I, I think that's that's good. Oh, all right. So it's me. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, oh, crud. Um, why is that happening? I seem to be currently unable to draw a card. Um, oh. Could, could someone? I just uh, could someone draw one for me? When you. you hover over the deck, does the does a card pop up? Uh, the problem is, is that the um, the clicky thing to draw is for some mm. reason off oh. of my screen, and I can't seem to bring it back in. Yes, so, so weird. Well, thank you uh, very much. Uh, help. <clears throat> thank you very yes, much. Max. Thank you. Uh, that actually wasn't me. Oh, whoever that was, thank you for your assistance. Thanks, ghost. Um, ooh, yes, more interesting. Uh, <laughs> there is someone else in this retinue you love besides the queen. How and why are you keeping it a secret? So, let's see. Mm -hmm. And remember, and remember, you can always pass a card on to someone else um, if you don't believe that it fits your character idea. Um, but you know, you do you. Yeah, but then, I mean, yeah, I pretty much already established, at least on the surface, that I don't love anyone. But um, let's. Uh, so, uh, Maximilian. Yeah, hi. Who, hi. Who do you think uh, Legua was uh, before he got turned into a scorpion? Just out of curiosity. Um, I think that he was probably someone who was hired to kill the queen uh, and got pretty mm -hmm. close, but obviously not close enough. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to say, actually, um, given what I have in my head uh, about uh, Subi's own backstory, um, is that I want to either say that Subi's the one that hired you. Oh, dang. Or that someone she knows, like, hired. Okay, I'm going to say that, um, oh, I guess that doesn't really... I didn't expect to get stumped on the first question. I'm not going to lie. I was not like, oh, hey. I kind of um, like how this game just throws hard hitters at you. They're like, here's some fucking yeah. shit to deal with. Mm. Every question, yeah, every question is like way up there. It's like a 10 yeah. to, to kind of figure out. But Makes me happy. I'm, there are also lots of different kinds of love. So I'm going to say that um, Suvi appreciates artistry people who are like people who are just the epitome of of their craft hmm. um and so suvi at one time uh loved you because legwa was the very best assassin that money could buy um and she absolutely went to him at one point um for reasons um and asked for an attempt on the queen's life that looked real, but wasn't. Mm. Um, and so she, but you actually seemed like you tried to do it for real instead. So that love, that love I think turned into the hatred I think that we see today. Um, so that's what I got. Uh, maybe I could, uh, we could do like a little flashback to... Oh dang! Yeah, I don't know. Is that a thing we can do? That's a thing I mean, we can do. I can do whatever I, mean, I want. Yeah, you can't you tell can. me what to do. <laughs> um, <laughs> Take that game. What's up now? No GMs. I, I believe that this game is called All Games No Masters for that very specific reason. Do what you want. Right. Nobody <clears throat> can tell you no. I hear. I hear you're the best. Oh. I do my job well, and I am proud of it. What other people say is not my business. Well, I can tell you that word around 
well, the entire kingdom, is that you're the best. And I'm here to hire the best because I deserve it. You absolutely do, my dear. What are your, do you have any, shall we say limitations? Oh, uh, oh, what are they called? Do you have any moral scruples that I should know about oh. before uh, we talk about what we're going to do here? No, none that have gotten in my way before. Excellent. Excellent. I love it. So I'm going to need you to make a realistic attempt on the queen's life. When we say realistic, how realistic do we mean? Oh, there's, there's to be no actual killing. I just want it to... Just want it to look real, you know? Just want it to it to be planted as a seed of possibility and doubt. What you're asking from me is a very important task because you have to understand in failing, I may not be considered the best anymore. You're asking me to give up a piece of myself for this. That's fair, but no one would have to know that you were the one that was hired, would they? If you do your job, they won't see hide nor hair of you. No, but I'll know. And that will hurt. It will cost. Oh, that's money's no object. If you want it to cost other things, I'm sure we could work that out as well. I don't know what your particular predilections are. Well, I've heard tell that the queen has some unique powers, some unique trinkets. Mm -hmm. There are some I would like to get my hands on. If you want this done, then something of the Queen's must be given to me. I'm sure we can work that out. However, this can never, obviously, be tied back to me. Oh, I've already forgotten. Good, then I can save the threat I was going to make in case that was not going to be your response. Oh no! I love it when I can file a threat away for later. Please. I like having them in my pocket just for the right moment. I understand wholeheartedly, but there is no need. Again, professionalism first. I do my job. Outside of that, there's nothing to speak of. Exactly. You and I will never speak again. Gladly. It's been a pleasure, my dear. Always. He kind of just backs out. Okay. So spicy. All right, it's my turn. Oh, man. I love assassins. Yay. <laughs> I love getting hired as an assassin. Oh, man. <laughs> the queen okay. is not your queen. Ooh. Why do you serve her anyway? Oh, damn. Oh, man. Let's see. I... So, Sorrel... The way I had Sorrel set up, uh, the queen absolutely was their queen. So I don't think that this is a good question for me. Uh, but I am interested in seeing how Max would answer this question. Sure. Um, happy to. Queen is not your queen. Why do you serve her anyway? Well, obviously, um, we know that I've been now hired to kill the queen. I would say that I most likely have found myself in this kind of desert kingdom that we that we see, um, sort of by a series of strange events that have put me here, and probably from very far away, have found myself in this place which is an easy place to disappear in, which is a pleasant thing. Um, 
for an assassin. So I've found it quite nice. As I slowly kind of got acclimated to the place, I would say that I learned to respect it. And in learning to respect it, I realized that much of that is by design of our queen. I think now, as a tiny little scorpion ma'am, my respect has become a sort, a certain sort of adoration because the queen, as far as I know, is unkillable, which is the one thing that I would respect more than anything. So now she is truly my queen. Um, I think the scene I'd like to play out, if that's possible, would be with Sorrel, probably. Um, I think by this point I would have been let out of my cage, my punishment complete. And I, this is kind of me like getting out, like stretching. And there's Sorrel kind of standing guard or whatever it is that they do. How was your time? Oh, no better or worse than any other. You seem to find yourself in this type of position often, Legua. Well, I suppose great risk, great reward, but also great risk. Hmm. I uh, appreciate your um, affinity for risk taking. However, I think um, there is uh, the difference between being a clever risk taker and a foolish one. And you ride that line pretty well. Hmm. Maybe so. Still, I cannot think of anyone aside from you and Suvi who I would like to face battle with. Ferris needs a little work, but we can maybe get him there one day. Oh. I think Ferris could be quite a lot more dangerous to this ensemble than you think. He's got some bite in him, you know. I am curious to see if that is so. I am a little bit more concerned now with your bite. Oh, don't mind me. She wouldn't have brought any of us along if we didn't have our purposes. Oh, that I firmly believe. And yet, I understand that uh, you sting back when given the opportunity. Yes. And you don't kick and bite and use those horns of yours when given the opportunity? <laughs> oh, I absolutely do. But I am more choosy about my enemies. Sorrel, with the exception of our queen, everything in this whole country, in that whole vast desert, is your enemy. Perhaps you are right. This is a place of death. Unless you are a scorpion. I don't think I'll live forever. Oh, none of us is guaranteed eternal life. We can only hope that our stories will be told and songs will be sung about us. Only then can we live forever. Hmm. in memory. No. That's a very good point. Does it that one I'd like to write about Suvi. <laughs> Take care, she does not find it. No. Whatever that story might be, I imagine it would get you into quite a lot of trouble if she found it. Well, I'll be sure to sing it only after she's gone. Ah, yes. That being said, do you, Legua, a ghost, want to be remembered? Oh, I don't know. I think if I was, I should be remembered as hers. 
if my story is told, it should be entwined with hers. I no longer see much of myself mm -hmm. outside of her shadow. That is something I think each of us can relate to in some way. We have our lives because it pleases the queen that we should keep them. And you, what piece of her story do you think you'll be part of? I hope it will be the story of the battle I've won and not of the one that I lost. Well, great risk, great reward. Just remember. Oh, hopefully my risk will lead me to glorious death. If it doesn't, I'll see you in the cage. Mm. Scuttle, 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 scuttle. Yes, I like that. <laughs> that was good. All right, it is again your turn, Max. Actually, no, since no, you answered that yeah, turn, I... we, we move to the next person. Correct. Which would be me. Yeah, it is you. Um, so I accidentally picked a card up when I was trying to put the card on the field, and I don't think this uh, fits for Theris, at least not at this point in our journey. So I pass this card. So... Amanda, you can choose to answer it or pass or exit out of. Um, you saved the queen's life once. How? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I think I think this is okay. Pretty. Uh, so, uh. I mean, the easy thing here would be to say I saved her from the assassination attempt. Unbelievable. Uh, How rude. <laughs> that is a, that is some straight sous vide stuff, though. <laughs> um, well, because listen, um, the queen and sous vide were lovers um, that uh, was not, that was secret and frowned upon because sous vide is very low class. Um, however, uh, I saved the queen's life from an assassination attempt while we were, uh, uh, lying together in the secret, uh, little, uh, little cottage that, uh, the queen keeps for such things, um, which, uh, obviously elevated, uh, me even farther in the queen's estimation but also probably earned me the hatred of Legua for double-crossing him. <laughs> and Yeah, that sounds and, right. And uh, so, you know, got to step on, step on some faces if you uh, want to get up to the top, especially if uh, you came from very, very far down below. I nearly made um, a very inappropriate comment. But please do. I love inappropriate comments. Oh, I was going to say, you sometimes you got to step on the faces or sit on them. Uh, <laughs> I was not expecting that one. But... Okay. <laughs> oh yes, that is one. Oh, I know notes, how. Notes, I notes. know how Amanda. No, one of my like my best friend like when, when we were happened, roommates. That was one of her, her favorite ways to say that she was like super thought the guy was super hot she would just be like i want to sit on his face <laughs> <laughs> parents we apologize for watching this with your kids <laughs> what we're it's just like acrobatics athletics it's that's, yeah, that's it's, all yeah teamwork <laughs> making the teamwork, dream work teamwork <laughs> um <laughs> i did okay I, we're gonna get in trouble we got for that, aren't we? Quickly derailed. Yep, yep. Oh no. Oh, oh no. You can't fire me. It's the last <laughs> one. Um all right. Anyway, um I'm just gonna leave it at that actually without a scene since Max and I already had one kind of yeah. setting all of this up. I think it'd be it a little works. bit of overkill. We know we beef. So. Yeah, yeah. 
but now we know why you beat as hard as you beat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that makes it your turn, Aki. Okay. Okay. Sorry. A work thing reared its ugly head at me, and I needed to. I needed to do something about it. Acceptable. <gasps> I mean, this is what happens when a part of what you do is open until eight o'clock and people have questions. Mm. All right. You have a personal connection to the land and that you are currently traveling through. What makes you want to stay and why don't you? Um, so I want to say that Sorrel's uh, background before they were turned into this uh, version of themselves was as a traveling, like was part of a nomadic tribe. Um, uh, it was a warrior tribe that uh, eventually kind of got absorbed into the queen's kingdom. Like they were conquered and uh, like this was, this was their land. The queen was their queen, but they kind of were given the ability to sort of move about and do as they pleased. But at some point the queen was like, nah, you got to stop doing that. Now you got to be over here. You got to basically be my built in army because you know, whatever. Um, but Sorrel has a, a distinct connection to this sort of desert land they're traveling through because it's part of who they were as a child. Um, the reason they don't stay is mostly because they can't like their tribe no longer exists. Like they've all essentially been domesticated and have been absorbed into like the larger culture of, of the queen and her land. So like what was left of their nomadic tribe is basically, you know, just people like them, fighters, uh, you know, merchants, stuff like that. Um, and uh, yeah, y'all have questions or wanna wanna scene it up, but that that's basically the long and the short of it. It's like you you'll often see Sorrel as we're as we're traveling through, uh, kind of a pause now and then to kind of like touch the sand or or look off into the horizon. Yeah, so that that was that was the question I was going to ask. It's sort of how are you how are you visual visually sort of being affected by that. Um, and so then- The occasional that, brooding grunt. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, Sorrel, are, are you okay? You're, you sound like you're, you're, you're making those noises that you make when you're really angry, except you don't seem as angry. Oh, maybe I should shut up. Did you know that once I used to live in a desert, much like this. Like this? Wait, like, by yourself? Why? No. My family and my tribe traveled the sands. Oh. We pitched our tents at night and cooked whatever we could. No. Amanda. <laughs> I heard that snicker. <laughs> he was like, wait, what's going on? What? <laughs> Never mind. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm just listening. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, God. Okay. okay so uh, And cooked whatever it was that we were able to hunt that day. I uh, have many memories of cold desert nights warmed by fire song and during the day drills for you see we were a warrior race cell swords i guess you would call us now one day the queen conscripted our services and we never returned to the sands none of you what <laughs> Couldn't you, when you when you finished the job, why, 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 why didn't you go back? When was the last time our kingdom was at peace? <laughs> Fair. Oh. Perhaps, explains... go ahead. No, that explains why you, you know so much about the desert and why you're so strong. Uh, so 
My knowledge of this place does not make me stronger. It only weakens me. What do you mean? It brings back the memories. The family and tribe I no longer have. I see. And so you you, you cut those memories off. Is, is that how you, you stay as strong? No, oh, it is not through that either. I have learned to accept these memories. And I have learned to accept that there is no going back. That neither strengthens me nor weakens me. It just, well, it does weaken me a little. But regardless, I believe that if this peace that the queen is going to broker ends up actually being something real and true and not another precursor to an even longer and bloodier war, then perhaps my descendants may return to the sands. But I know our queen. Yeah. She, she says it's, it's for peace. But I, I don't know. But, but Sorrel, if we're talking about the company that we're in, I feel like you're the best. The queen uses you in every battle. She she looks to you for guidance sometimes, more more so than Sumi. And I just want to I want to be strong. Like I want to be able to to do something, you know? I will teach you to pluck the eyes from your enemies. Really? It is That's... very simple. As I was saying to you before, you have a strong beak. You could use it. And your claws are a weapon as well. Oh, that sounds like fun. I'll do my best. You will wake early in the morning. And you will meet me before we break camp. And I will show you. Okay. Oh, thank you. Do not thank me until you have successfully killed a man. <laughs> you see him just sort of like slowly bird walk away. <laughs> so we nice. I like playing Sorrel. Sorrel's fun. <laughs> Next. Maximilian. I think it's you. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me draw this here. Boop, boop, boop. Draw a card. Draw. All right. Oh. How does the queen remind you of her status while on the journey? Hmm. Um, I, I think it's fairly clear how the queen <laughs> reminds Legwav of her status. I don't think we have a question there. Um, do I just pass this to the next player in line, or do I pick who it goes to? I think it passes down the line. But okay, then I, I'll I mean, pass it. I'll pass it down the line. I don't, um, um, I don't see it quite for myself. Okay. How does the queen remind you of her status? So I, I would imagine that the queen, um, obviously being able to control bones and, and desert magic or whatever, uh, can, can make sort of a very nice place for shelter. Whereas like, at least, uh, you know, there as, uh, as a bird is, is told to just sleep sort of out in the open, which is terrifying all the time, but, <laughs> More than that, uh, I also think um, during the day she has a retinue of uh, sort of like it, as part of our retinue, just sort of grunts, and they're carrying like one of those like like seated covered things with her sitting atop it, just sort of being very regal. She doesn't even have to walk because she's too good for that. Um. For for uh, Ferris though, the the one thing I think he would always 
have with the queen is that the queen will remind him that he's not even worth like he's so worthless he was just a peasant child of a farmer that she she transformed and he's not going to amount to anything this was more of a punishment to the family being the oldest son um than it was to him and he's not even good so she she constantly berates him i would imagine um but he still looks up to her because she is so strong and she commands such an audience um for this scene though actually i don't really feel like there is a, a scene like i feel like i'd be forcing a scene here so yeah i'm gonna say no scene for this okay oh i can draw it now hooray <gasps> he's back i'm back baby points you're back yeah let's go um oops the queen had you punished once what about the memory of that will stay with you forever <laughs> see you can't just keep cat? giving me these <laughs> things and then telling me i have to keep it pg-13 like that's just not fair uh, I just, I'm sorry. I'm just, okay. So there's that answer, which the adults understand. Um, and then there's the real answer. Um, not all punishment is bad. Just saying. Some people are into that. Um, all right. So I, I'm going to say that Suvi... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> watching Max lose it is just. I mean, making Max lose it is here, my like, favorite pastime when it comes to playing in RPG. Level <laughs> fucking best to just be like, it's. It is like a is point fine. of pride. It is totally normal. Um, <laughs> everything's laughing. fine. So we do not all enjoy playing together at all. Like outside of this, we just hate each other so much. I don't even understand. Um. No, I'm gonna say that the um. The God, I even forgot what the question was. Uh, so um, she had she had my husband killed. Um, oh. she uh, because of uh, Suvi's status, um, and the fact that she uh, is a woman, she needed to be married. Um, it, she got married, I think, pretty young to you know, just um. Just like a merchant uh who is kind of you know on her same uh like class level um and you know he was he was nice enough and you know not a bad dude or anything like that but just was kind of boring um and you know when suvi started up her uh torrid affair i guess with the queen um it kind of meant that her, her poor husband uh became a pawn of sorts um so the queen is fickle um fickle and can be cruel um and uncaring uh and has kind of a, a vested lack of interest uh in things that don't directly concern her um so i want to say it was literally just she didn't I guess Suvi talked to her the wrong way one day, something very like simple and not even worth it. And she, she had her husband killed. Um, so that I'm not going to lie um, for a second or two. Suvi was actually pretty like charmed by the fact that someone cared enough about her and it was especially a queen to go out of their way to have her husband killed. Like that has to mean that she's like important, right? It's like, why would she go to the trouble? Um, so the memory really for her is like, that was a demonstration of love in a weird way. It was absolutely a demonstration of love. Yeah, um, yeah, and uh, yeah, so I'm, I don't want to like keep, like not seeming nothing immediately comes to mind does like anybody have a thought here um 
my thought maybe was like y'all were gossiping while I was like not around or something. I thought oh. that might be interesting. Like oh. maybe Suvi's like curled up with the queen oh. sleeping I at, sleeping in or something, and y'all are. I feel like this is a Paris then. and like Wasine for sure. Sure. Yeah. Let's let's do it. Go for it. All right. We can be, you know, let's let's find a nice high up place, okay. like where these turkeys aren't going to be bothering us. Got it. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe on so, top of a large cactus or something. Even yeah, it, it could be a cactus. It could also be like like some some rocks, like some high rocks or something. A nice rock outcropping is always appreciated. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> So, you getting by okay? I'm trying to. I'm. I feel tired all the time. Sorrel is is trying to train me to to, to fight for the queen. Oh, I suppose no reason you shouldn't be put to use. You know, she can't do all of her own killing after all. That would get tiring. Yeah. Um, and so uh, yesterday, I, I pecked really hard at one of those cactus. And mm. I, I, like, punched into the inside and, like, ripped it open and was just going crazy. And then one of the, the, the needles poked me near my eye. And then I started mm. crying. And Sorrel kicked me. Oh. So a productive day then, one assumes. Yeah, I I still feel really sore now. Ferris. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you um, a, a story here, and I want you to take the right lesson from it. Okay. Suvi. Well, Suvi used to be a person, as I'm sure you can assume. No. Yes. Objective. We all were, child. I know. You're not the only one who was a man once turned into an animal. In fact, I was also once a man. Um, <laughs> she used to have a husband. A Do forgettable... We? Yeah. Yes. Oh. He was... As far as I know, a sort of kindly and forgettable yeah. man. Never really made any great splash at court, even though he was invited on occasion. I think the queen was tickled by the idea of having him around while she and Suvi had their dalliances. One day, the queen ordered him dead which he found himself not shortly thereafter. Suvi takes this as a great compliment that she was invaluable and thus her husband must be taken out of the way. I take this as house cleaning. When something has no more use, you throw it in the garbage. Oh, right. Either way, the husband died. What I'm trying to tell you here, kid, is do not become so important that the queen starts paying attention. And do not become so unimportant that the queen starts paying attention. Uh, I, I I hear, and I, I, I'm trying to understand. I will do my best, but I, I have a, one thing. Mm -hmm. Don't get mad. As you see him sort of slowly backing up, he goes. The tail starts coming. <laughs> like, yeah, no problem. What's up? <laughs> what, is, what is in this 
before you. Because I, I know what you did before. And I know that you have a, a, a bone, for better lack of a better word, to pick with Sui. And is, is this, are, are oh. you? Oh. No, kid. This isn't about Suvi. This is about you nearly blinding yourself on a cactus because you want to become some bull of a warrior out in the desert. But if train was sorrel, but if I, Just, if I if I'm horrible, she'll kill me. If I'm too good, you're saying I'm probably still going to die. So how? What can I do to not die? That's all I want to do. Nothing scary. I saw my father murdered in front of me by the queen. The mm. queen usually uses magic to murder people when mm -hmm. she really needs to. She just grabbed him by the throat. Oh. Wrangled him right there in front of me. And I was too young, too stupid, not strong enough to do anything. At least Sorrel thinks that I can at least gouge some guy's eyes out. Now that sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> Kid, you got, you got problems, huh? No, not particularly. Do I? <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, shit. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like gone. I'm like oh fuck. <laughs> womp womp. He's he's a he's a weird one, you guys. I really love him. him. Love uh, him. Oh. <laughs> it's the weird ones you gotta worry about. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, thank you, Mini Marker, for your donation. Oh yeah, thank thanks. You, thank you, oh. <laughs> Remember, if you would like to send us a message or a toast, you can donate a uh, five fifteen dollars, fifteen hundred bits, or five gift subs, and you can send us ha harassing messages. Not actually harassing. Please, please make them kind and 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 gentle. We are we are, but you know, poor soft-hearted performers. And if you're too mean to us, we will cry. We will crumble. Uh, Theris will will ball tears and then and talk about trying to murder someone. So will room. this guy and this guy and all of Theris's friends. <laughs> we will cry. Gosh, who's turning? Oh, that was me, right? It's so, so yes. Aki's turn. Oh, yeah. Is it my turn again? It keeps coming around. Yeah, I, yeah, it got. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good. I just. I think I, that's right. I'm. Yes. I'm just yes, over right. here, like having way too much fun to pay any attention. So, par for the course. You are considered ugly by almost everyone you meet. How does the queen make you question that perception? Oh, rude. Oh. <laughs> so I think, I think that the queen actually does this not just for me, but for everyone in the group. Like, I think that she actually, uh, I think that what happens is that she has created us in these forms, like recreated us in these forms or transformed us like this, um, specifically because she saw that we still had value in some way. Um, and so in, in these forms, we are beautiful to her because we, we are what she created. Um, uh, so when people are intimidated or frightened of sorrel, you know, we're where others call them, you know, ugly or fearsome. Um, she calls them you know, strong and brave and magnificent, um, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, and I think, I think that that's perhaps something that like in our own, in our own way, we have all received something like that. Maybe even if it's sort of an underhanded from the queen, some sort of nod of, I made you this way, you are a creation of mine, and therefore I value you for this, that, or the other. 
that kind of makes her sound like she's like a god to us. I'm sorry. Like, do you not worship your queen? Is that what I, you're intimating? Is that what you're trying? I mean, to say? queens I, 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 and I, I, gods are different. Are different uh, animals. Ha. I think that <laughs> to a certain degree, there are many who maybe see her that way. Whether or not we see her that way is completely different. But mm -hmm. there are a lot of people who see her power and see her abilities and kind of and kind of do revere her in that way. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that any of us have to or do. I don't think Sorrel, yeah. I don't think Sorrel does. I don't think that he looks upon her as uh, they look upon her as like some sort of like goddess or anything like that. Uh, but they do they do value that she uh, that she saved them for a purpose. Um. Okay. You got a scene in there? Or? Um, I, I'm kind of curious to see how that sort of manifests for other people in the group. Now that I've kind of talked <laughs> about how that manifests for Sorrel. Yes. Um, so if any of you are kind of like particular, like particularly want to kind of talk about your experiences with the queen or like how, how you have sort of seen that uh nod of approval uh i'd be interested in seeing that yeah so uh amanda if you have an idea like yeah so so i think for theris uh i i would say i mean how long this trip is i i don't know but i imagine that it's it's Forever. a long yeah it's a long trip <laughs> across a never-ending journey um turn around so while they're they're out here, there is sort of uh, has been trying to do training, and then one one day he flies high, finds some some meal, like like some some animal that's about to die but not dead, just just like and and brings like kind of drags it back to the queen, and he's like, did I do good? <laughs> just aching for her approval. And um, she, for once, turns her head to look at him and goes, you could do worse. And that's all he needs. He is ecstatic, flying around in circles around the camp. He is pumped. <laughs> I think that, uh, that Suvi like, was there and catches him when he is done celebrating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> comes down. Oh, that's exhilarating. What are you so excited about, little bird? The queen liked what I found for her. Oh I, yeah? And what was that? A meal. Um, it was like a weird uh, rodent, but it was giant. So not really a rodent. I don't know what it was. So, but it was delicious. And I gave it to the queen. So listen to what you're saying for a second, you brought the queen, the queen, your queen, our queen, the queen who made us as we are, a dead rodent? I mean, and, it thought, was, and thought that was impressive? She, she told me that I could do worse and she's never said that to me before. <laughs> Oh, oh goodness. Well, since you're probably going to be a raven forever, I suppose, suppose you got to get some practice in. Some of us, some of us are only in this form temporarily. <laughs> so I suppose you should get used to it, huh? As I'm like walking by, <laughs> just laughing my ass off at that one. <laughs> Laughing at at Varys or laughing at Suvi or Suvi. both. Suvi. Oh, at Suvi. 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 <laughs> and uh, there's just a, like you see just all of him deflate like everything. Oh no! Listen, I'm not. My goal is not to to bring you down, Varys. It's just to remind you to be realistic. Okay. Right. Well, uh, Suvi, one thing that I have a question about is when was the last time 
the queen asked you into her tent because lately it has been someone else. It looks like you aren't as needed either. And you Every see- Every once in a while. Like, kind of like feathers puff up. <laughs> Every once in a while, everyone's got to try something different. You don't think I'm somewhere else too? There's no jealousy here. You can try and dig, be my guest, but, and then she just like gets up like kind of real close. It's just like, you better be careful because I bite. And I love birds. They're delicious. And then she like flicks her tail as she like turns around and walks away. Okay. <laughs> ah, Sufi. <laughs> I like oh, Sufi. goodness. I'm really just like settling into my role lately as just like the bad person, which is, um, I just please give it to me. Just be, mean. Just be bad and mean and rude. You know, Darius tried. He tried to say something back and it failed. <laughs> Well, that's the All thing right. is, like, she's just getting a rise out of people. I don't think she's actually, like, super mean. She just right. likes to, like, poke things. Yeah, yeah. And and Ferris is easy to poke. Yeah. Don't, don't, Anybody don't. else have anything on that? Or are we ready to move on to what's next? Or I'm good. Okay. Cool. All right. Next. Which I believe is mix. Oh, criminal. Ooh. God, you're right. They do. I can't. They just, they just come like, So regardless. <laughs> The game, it moves. It moves so fast. That is actually one of the uh, cool upsides to this game, is it just clips through. Ooh. Oh, interesting. What brings out the queen's kindness? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I know what you're so many thinking. things that we have already alluded to. Oh my gosh, <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Just. Amanda. <laughs> like both times we've played Obviously. this, the queen has just been atrocious. That's true. That's but true. maybe She's that's a rough character on all of us. Nah. I don't want to come to terms with that. Um, <laughs> so, no, it's not. It's the game and our evil queen, and that's that. Um, what brings out the, the queen's kindness? I, I mean, I think the honest truth is that she is at her kindest when we are succeeding. Mm -hmm. That we are each given tasks and we are sent out into this world, into this kind of arid and unforgiving landscape as we traipse through it. And given difficult tasks, ones that sometimes are probably not even entirely suited to us, and for what reason we don't know. But when we succeed, there is a certain amount of kind of manic elation that can happen. That in so much as we can see the queen, like, you know, when she, when she raises these bones from the ground to create structures and kind of saps the life out of the world, that when she kind of exudes joy, you know, like these kind of like feasts of manna and food and deliciousness can kind of start sprouting out of plants and flowers and, and whatnot. And they kind of vibrate and shake with energy. Um, and those are the moments in which we can feast and we can eat and we can, and we no longer have to fear for our fucking lives. Um, uh, and I think those are when she is that that is when she is at the height of her, her kindness. Yeah. Um and so it's probably a pretty good moment for a scene. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I have an idea. Um I think uh -oh. as we've been making our way through, we have passed by a small smallish encampment of um of folks of of kind of unaligned folks not members of our of our nation by any particular means but they are trespassing on on our land as it were um and the queen has ordered them to be taken out and sorrel i would say has led a 
very successful assault on their camp and has driven them out. And we have probably killed many and taken some prisoner and it's all been lots of fun for everybody, I'm sure. Uh, even Theris got a couple of eyeballs out of it, I have no doubt. Um, Subi took a nap. Um, <laughs> hey. I'm kidding. You probably totally bit someone's throat off. Um, <laughs> but, but anyway, so we it's, we don't return to the camp. She kind of comes, she's brought to us to survey our the carnage and in doing so kind of raises up our, a feast out of out of the blood and out of the sand and everything and this is a moment of great celebration for us nice <laughs> nice you should be proud of yourself Darius. i saw many men screaming in agony as they clutched their eyeless faces i got one and i took it and then i chewed on it and it was really gross and so i spit it out but i got it and that's what counts <laughs> well it's nice to see that you're piling up the bodies kid yeah and and this food that was created it's so good oh yeah it's something else it's not so often it happens these days yeah she was she was really happy i i i think i almost saw a smirk like a yeah Legwa. Yeah. You were almost useful today. Congrats. Oh. Just because you didn't see it doesn't mean it didn't happen, kiddo. You're going to eat? I already did. Well. I, I had pleasantly sated. No worries. All right. I'll take that then. It is important to keep up your strength, Suvi. Yes, I, I think I think actually for the record, Suvi super respects Sorrel, like just like a hundred percent. Um um not just because Sorrel is an enormous bull and could, you know, <laughs> do serious damage, but because they are they are accomplished and an artist in their own right. And as we have established, she appreciates artistry. Um oh oh, yes. Of course, Sorrel. Um I suppose it doesn't hurt to have a second helping. We are rarely given the opportunity to overindulge. And so when that opportunity presents itself, it is not wrong to take a little bit of advantage. After all, who knows when the queen will be this pleased again? Oh, Probably later on tonight, if we're being honest, but. <laughs> yes, I am sure she manifests many feasts for you. Oh, I didn't mean me specifically. Just that. It's just her. She's, she's insatiable. <laughs> she's a and font of joy. Excess. And excess. And extremes, really. But anyway. Well, I think we should, um, we should be glad for this day. Mm -hmm. I'm shocked. I'll take what I can get. Sure ain't much when you're this big. Well, yes. <clears throat> Everyone appreciates a cheap date. <laughs> oh, really? I will no have one to take your word for that. Date. I have never been a, never been one before. As you can see, I eat like a bull. <laughs> and an amazing coach. I I couldn't have done even one one really good scratch of Vanaya if it hadn't have been for sore. Yeah. All I did was give you the tools. You were persistent enough to use them. <laughs> ah, like, wow. He is but a child and hopefully has many more years ahead of him. But let him enjoy what little is left of his young years. 
without too much cynicism, maybe. Kid, congratulations. Today was a real day for you. You know, it's honestly, it's a shame that we're not human at this point in time. Oh, yeah. It give I would I would deliver my thanks, I think, in a much different manner. That I'm sure you appreciate. Well, kid. Oh, he doesn't know what I'm talking about, does he? Oh, that's no. Incredible. I think he's never been oh. stabbed in the back before. So, kid. Sorrel just, if they if they could put their hands to their head, and like, but I think instead they just sort of kneel like their head forward to the sand and kind of like pull their hooves in front of their face, kind of like this. It looks very <laughs> awkward and uncomfortable, but it's the closest they can get to a face palm. <laughs> Somehow Suvi manages to pull the just the middle digit <laughs> off of one of her front paws and just like ring it up here. Um, yeah, whatever. Anyway, Love that. So, <laughs> Randy. So, yeah. So before that, before we I, I draw the next card, I did want to talk to um, to Legua really quick, mm -hmm. uh, sort of after our, our little dinner. Like that. And um, I go, Legua, mm -hmm. are, are, are you alone? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, like, are it, you? It's a <laughs> desert. It's not hard to tell. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I I found something on 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 one of the the bodies okay. that I I found, and I, I I just thought you would like it. And he passes over a note, and in the note is just information, like it's just a small little piece of information. It's very old, but on it is a a jewel that. It's on the, the queen's scepter. Mm. It is very old. And from you can't really tell what the rest of the document this was originally from. But some people are looking specifically for that. And, and, and Theris goes, um, I know um, you and Suvi don't like each other. But it, it looks like the queen has this thing. I've seen it before. And when she, she does her magic, sometimes it glows really big. I just, I just thought if I got, if, like you said, I'm too useful, then I, I have no purpose. So I'm trying See? to be good. Did I do good? Did I do good? Very good, kid. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Oh. He hops away and he's really happy. <laughs> oh, this poor baby boy. This poor baby like, verb. Take the drawing and like look at it, memorize it, shred it. All right. Next. All right. Oh, yeah. So, so that, because I feel like it's not, is it fair for me to draw another card? Because I, I wanted to yeah. do that scene. I, I really yeah. had just it in my soul. Cool. Do it. Go for it. All right. So then the next one would be. What do you do for the queen that anyone else? Uh, what do you do for the queen that anyone else can do, and why does she make you do it? <laughs> yeah. So, um, hmm. What do I mean? I'm sure I do some really lame thing. Like, uh, uh. I don't. Uh, I'm trying to think of something good that she would have a bird do, but that not that a bird would be good at, because I don't think she would ask me to do that, right? Right. Uh, well, it's like that anyone can do. So like, it's not like you're special. It's just something right. that she right. has you. But do I feel like it's do. also a, sort of making fun of, of me. Well, I mean, you mm. kind of right. established that she kind of treats you like her gopher. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So then, yeah. Um, she. She sends me to like 
he, she makes a very sort of lighthearted comment about how what I found last time was very good, but she would like to have more and to find it and that I'd better not show my face uh, again until I do. Knowing that we're in a desert and I'm probably not gonna find it very easily. <laughs> um, she does this because she specifically saw me boasting and being really happy at the dinner. Too happy, in fact, for her liking. <laughs> yep. That, yeah. So, uh, that sounds I, right. Yeah. This yep. time in the cage is a little black raven named Theris. Just. Oh, Theris. That's where Lakewa lives. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, cool. oh, poor little burb. I spent. What did you do? I spent four days searching for one of those those little meals that I found before the rodent, not rodent thing. I don't know what it was. Um, but I couldn't find one. So then I grabbed this thing, and when you like peck at it, it turns into a ball. And I, I kept trying to grab it. Uh, it uh -huh. so hard. Yeah, I've completely lost interest in this story. I just I just thought you should know before you kept going for another several minutes. Um All right. but you know, like I just came, you know, I, I listen, I don't I have a heart. I just came over here to see That's if there was anything that you I'm sorry, what was that? That's and she just me. kind of like says that while she like she flashes her <laughs> teeth and like He's like backing into the wall, uh, into the cage, and he's like, "But I'm in a cage, and she can't open it." So he's like, "Yeah, you hurt me." And she like takes one of her claws and like very easily sticks it through one of the holes of the one of the like bars of the cage, but doesn't touch you. And it's just like you might want to do some thinking while you're in there about what a good idea is and what a bad idea is. And also about maybe who you should make friends with. I simply came over here to ask if there was anything that I could get you that would make your stay more comfortable. I, I doubt that you're someone I can trust. What is, does it require trust for someone to fetch a blanket? Um, blanket, oh, it's so cold. No, 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 Suvi. No, I don't need a blanket or anything from you. I am okay. Mm -hmm. He tries to act normal. I'm fine. <laughs> you can go. It's just poor decision making up and down, Theris. I don't, man, I don't have a whole lot of confidence in, in your ability to last this entire trip. It's sad, really. But you already lasted longer than the last one. So, hooray. The last one? Oh, do you think that you're the first random peasant child that she's murdered the family of and then turned into a bird? No, no, this is like, this is like her thing, you know? You're just the latest in a very long line and, well, I'm just gonna not tell you what happened to the rest of them, but. Suvi. Yes. I will outlast all of them. And I'll prove well, it. Well, you already have, dear. They're dead. Thank you for the donation, Mr. Beast. And welcome. Yeah, thank you so Yay! much. <laughs> we appreciate you so much. Thank you. I will outlast them. And I will prove you wrong. You know what, kid? I hope you do. I really do. I'm not so bad, you know, I have a heart. It's just been stepped on so much that, you'll learn this, it's been stepped on so much that, you know, sometimes you have to like, you have to just tuck it away and only bring it out when it's absolutely necessary. You'll learn that the longer that you stay with her. But in the meantime, you turned down a nice offer from me, and now you're just gonna be cold. How sad. Hi. 
you walk away, he sort of starts shivering because he didn't want to show you how cold he was. <laughs> well. No, that was really nice of Suvi. Yeah, no, but. it was very good. It was very, very good. Not a monster. Um, just a sassy, just, just a sassy just a fan of all. She's just a fan of all kinds of fuckery. She's like, where That's am I going to put this? Suvi the cat. Fans poison of, blanket that I made. Wait, That's can like, I can I can I just ask a selfish question that I want to know? Like, please. as a sand cat, what does she look like? Like physically, what I want to know. Like, so sand cats are real. Um, like I literally looked up like if any kind of cat actually is native to the desert, are. and it's like the only one that is native to the desert, but it's very small. It's like six pounds. Um, very um, like, cool. small. Pretty much like a normal cat. It looks a lot like a normal cat. It's just kind of a little bit fluffier, um, and it um, and it's obviously it's it's much it's like sand colored for the most part. Um, okay. So it's a freaking uh, adorable. If you just like look up sand cat, it's really adorable. So she's just like a giant version of that, which kind of means that she is not at all very scary. She looks like a giant adorable fluffy cat. Oh my gosh! Yeah, they're oh, like I'm cute. I wish I could see they got like big fluffy that. faces. Their yeah. faces are really fluffy, and the rest of the body is kind of. Oh, that changes you, everything. You have removed all the credibility you ever. <laughs> I was like, I was like imagining like Sufi, Suvi is like a mountain lion. I was like, now I'm like, oh, floof. No, she's I'm... she's a giant, a giant floof, a giant, like little asshole, floof of a cat. I mean, yeah, I love it. I love it. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I think it's is it me. Yep. Uh, yeah, after Randy. Uh, yeah. All right then. Oh man. Uh, let's see what I got here. Oh no. <laughs> Woo! They just listen. If you don't. That's on you. No. You it's just got to stop giving – this game has to stop giving me fodder if it's not, like, going to let me just, like – like, well, it's just not well, fair. This is just mean at this point. <laughs> you were – Giving a man to <clears throat> sex cards. You were – I <laughs> – Do, do, do. I told, I told Aki cards. that – for whatever reason, my ability to sex joke gets so much better when I'm in the middle of a role playing game. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, well, that you were summoned to a you were summoned to a private meeting with the queen once. Oh, well, that's that's wrong. Um, why did you feel disappointed? I can't do this. I'm gonna pass this to uh, to Sorrel. To answer because I cannot. I'm sorry. That's too, asking too much of me right now. This is like almost the end. I can't. Sorry. All right. Let's see. Um, so Sorrel was uh, summoned to see the queen. And in that summoning, they were hoping it would be the queen finally uh, giving them their pardon. Uh, in order to return them to their human form. Um, and instead, the queen spent the entire time uh, basically talking about a strategic strike against the, per like the, the kingdom they were getting ready to visit in order to broker peace. And Sorrel, who already suspected that perhaps this was all a ruse just to get close to the ruler of this other kingdom is really disappointed that there isn't in fact going to be peace after all, because as we also previously established, they were really hoping that perhaps their people would be able to return to the sands. And you got, you got, you got something there is. Yeah. I have some, well, I have a timeout for a moment because yeah. some, we have something really exciting. We have a toast. Ooh, okay. Oh. I mean, I, I can I can take care yep. of that really fast. All From right. The <laughs> From the beast. All right, everybody, raise your glass so that we may toast 
our hale and hearty benefactor, the beast who says, I gotta say, this queen sounds like my kind of gal, you know, apparently also <laughs> Suvi's kind of gal. So <laughs> don't get yourself turned into a cat, the beast. I like to think that, that, that she would also be Amanda's kind of gal. I'm not. Yeah. I, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there is also that. <laughs> This is very much the type of girl I could no see. No one tell my husband. Who is sitting oh, right next oh. to her. <laughs> what are you about? I would never. I'm not doing that. <laughs> All right. So, Anywho. Sorry. <laughs> I'm putting him on Discord right now. <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, so, yes. So, Sorrel is has probably left the tent and is currently taken up their, their shift uh for guard their guard duty shift and is yeah kind of very contemplative and again doing the silent mm. Mm. what's happening oh so Sorrel's not happy. Oh. Who's going to talk to them? <laughs> really? I mean, oh. you two don't have it in you. I certainly do. She oh, just kind of like means. will carefully, like, carefully pad over there, just like, and just kind of like tilts ahead. Sorrel? Mm. You're unhappy? Mm. No more happy than usual. No more unhappy than usual. We would beg to differ based on the fact that those two were too chicken to come over here and talk to you. Mm. But then again, maybe that's just them. I uh, have a hard time believing that Legua could ever be anything close to resembling a chicken. But Theris, however, is already pretty near with the feathers and the wings. Oh, you meant that metaphorically. Mm. <clears throat> yes. I, um... I, I understand how you would get confused, though, considering what we all, you know, look like. I am... Uh... Not unhappy, just contemplative. I have why that's been fighting my whole life. I like fighting, but I realize that fighting is not for everyone, and only when uh, one has had the opportunity to sit idle for a while can they truly appreciate the blood battle. Ah, I see. That, I think that's very intelligent. Um, I do have to tell you, though, I think you're scaring the rest of them. Hmm. It is good for them to be scared. Maybe not of me, but just in general. That's well, they're just scared of everything. So that's not really... But, you know... I would mind instilling as much fear as possible into into Legua. I think uh, I do not mean to frighten anyone, but I, maybe uh, I am struggling. I know what it is we ride into. And I know that if I continue to do the bidding of our queen, my people will never again roam the sands. And I have already embraced my future, but I mourn for the future lost. Uh, yeah, I mean, Suvi has no idea what to say to that because she could not care less about things like that and has no idea what it means to be that introspective. So it's just kind of like respectfully nodding. Um, and then is like, um, well, I'm, I'm certainly 
I certainly never want you, Sorrel, to to feel unhappy or or contemplative or uh, any of those other words that you said. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what I think would make you feel better? Is if when you were going back to the tents to go to sleep, you almost accidentally trampled the scorpion. It would be so funny. It would bring up a morale. I think you'd really love it. I mean, I've tried it before, but you know, I don't have hooves. So it was a little painful. I was sick for like two days, but it was really worth it. <sighs> humor, humor, Sorrel. I think, uh, I think I shall pass on the attempted murder of the scorpion today. I didn't mean attempted murder. It's just like a funny injury. He is this big, and have you seen me? You, on the other hand, attempting to trample the scorpion is not so lethal. If I even step on like a little bit of him, he, no, that would be unfortunate. All right, fine. He still has his use. I am fairly certain the queen would not be happy about me accidentally injuring and or killing one of... She can give you a pass. She will not give me one. <sighs> All right, fair enough. I'm going to go off and plot my next attempt on his life. Have fun. I hope you feel better in the morning. Oh. Hmm. There's a thought. <laughs> Kill something, you'll feel better. <laughs> I, have, I have killed a great many things. Yep. Taught right. me how to do it. Too. <laughs> yep. Well, it's your turn. All we're getting right. up on the end of this. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna do one no, one more kind of quickish round. If we seen, we seen. If we don't, it's no biggie. But also, it's uh, our last episode, so I think we can ease into that in, into that ending there. Um, who is this distant power you are traveling to, and why do they make you uneasy? I'm glad we got um, this card. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll, I would say that we are traveling to a neighboring nation that most likely the reason it has not been absolutely demolished and essentially wiped off the face of the earth as probably many other nations have and are now part of this wonderful endless desert that we traverse. Um, is because they have some form of magic that is comparable to our queens. Um, so there is something that probably holds the expansive death and destruction that she carries with her in her wake that holds it back from their borders. I would say it makes me uneasy because I have seen how fucking crazy it is when just one woman wields that kind of power and i'm not particularly eager to see two people wielding that power um i think what i'd like to do is probably have a conversation with sorrel about it uh, and kind of like creep in if you like probably sneak into your quarters while you're sleeping that's a good idea whatever you're just a big old bull that's not a problem um big old bull in an itty bitty living space and i'm gonna kind of just like get up behind your ear as you're sleeping and just like lightly clip your ear it's like <clears throat> Huh. You up? I am now. What do you want, Legua? Well, first off, I'd like you to keep your voice down. <clears throat> what are we doing? 
You will have to be slightly more specific. You know where we're heading. I'm not an idiot. I know where we're heading to. The only one who doesn't is probably the frickin' bird. What are we doing? I can give you a few guesses. But I think you know why I was so disappointed by my meeting with the queen. Yeah. I got a pretty good idea why. She hasn't called me yet, you know. I think... Uh, I would have thought that I would have been sent out for it already. Hmm. It is very possible you still might be. She did not reveal all her plans to me. But I know that we are all here for a reason. There is no way that you are not part of this somehow. But she doesn't want me knowing about it. Because she doesn't want me to stop you. Oh, I don't know if you'd have to. That place? That place scares the ever-living shit out of me. It should. Have you seen it? It sits on the edge of the desert like some bizarre green oasis just perfect line of life right at the edge of our border it doesn't make any sense I believe that the queen wants to harness whatever power it is they wield there use it for her own gain her lust for power yeah. makes her dangerous yeah not that it ever hadn't before but I do not believe that this kingdom at the edge of our borders will simply give up their power willingly. It will be war. And we're going to be the ones to start it. We are the perfect scapegoats. People that were punished or hidden. People that are expendable. Sorrel. If I told you I think I knew a way to end the war before it started, what would you say? I would say I am very sleepy and could not possibly recall the whisperings of a scorpion in my ear as I slept. Uh... And I will ex explain very quietly uh, the pic the note with the jewel that I had seen and the fact that I think our queen's power is coming from it. Uh, and that possibly were it removed from a scepter, maybe destroyed or taken or used by somebody else, we may be talking about a far less powerful lady and maybe our humanity back. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. All right, next. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, do we want to play another one? Do we um, want to? Well, we're going to finish out this loop. And I, yeah. Okay. So cool. I am on it. I got cards on it. You arranged for I'm the queen to be for the queen on this journey. How what did they offer you? Ooh, the story is just writing itself. Ferris, you monster. Um, so, probably, uh, like I said, I was hunting for, for little animals, uh, and I told you that uh, the little note that I got was from um, from one of the people that I killed. What I didn't say is that I had been there before. That is, uh, um, and 
And so originally uh, I, I went there uh, looking for more food, couldn't find anything and ran into one of the people who was a traveler from that green oasis, right? Um, and he, he, for some reason, um, knew that I could speak. He knew there was something off about this little bird that's like hopping around on the ground, sort of looking around, <laughs> kind of, kind of very awkward. Like it's not, it's bird-like and not at the same time. Like there's definitely something off about it. And so, uh, he, he called to me and I tried to ignore him. <laughs> before sort of deciding that I would hear him out. And he promised, it, he said he had heard tales of uh, our queen that uh, as she journeyed through the desert and laid waste, waste in her path. path. And um, that him and others like him were aiming to stop this. So, um, I was was immediately about to go back, but he promised that he could make me human again. Um, I so probably as we're nearing, um, probably about a day or two out from the oasis, there is an attack at night. It is an assassin that they've sent. To come in. The only problem is, this is just to test the the queen. So it's an ambush, but it's not for the purpose of killing the queen, but more to get her to use her power so that they can understand a little bit more. So at night, um, you hear the queen sort of yell, and then sort of whatever this person was just explodes like she sees him and and grabs uh her scepter and just points it at him and just like every like little bit of him starts bubbling up and then psh, explodes yeah. close um, close. i knew that it was going to happen i did not know i don't know that it was an attempt so that night um, you see they're sort of pacing back and forth all night long. And then when it does happen and it fails, he thinks that he is failed and that he's going to be caught. But when the queen doesn't come for him, he's just trying to figure out what to do. Because the moment she finds out... <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do a scene for that, or should I go? I I, I narrated it enough. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Last one before the ending. Oh, you gotta stop it! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh! oh no! You can just say fuck and call it a day. <laughs> we can just, it's okay. We, we've gotten. We can do it. We've, we, we, I just we, like, whoever's still sticking around, I would apologize, but I'm not at all sorry. Like, I think this is hysterical. It's really um, very funny. So, so good. what do you do that pleases the queen on this journey? I cannot tell you because it is not rated PG 13. Um, which I think is what we're supposed to be rated on this show, um, which technically means I should not say fuck as much as I do. <laughs> slash the MPAA that's, that's, says that's, we get like, one. Yeah. There was a tweet that talked about, about how, much, how much I managed to say the word fuck in a single episode, so I think we're good. It, it's the best word. It's good it's for really, everything. It, it, means, it means so many world. different things. Like right now, it means just the utmost pleasure one could experience as a human being, you know? Delivered from one person to the other, or actually, never mind. Yep, let's um, not go too far down that. Let's path. not let's not go down that that rabbit hole there. Um, so, what else does she do that pleases the queen? I think that, um, I think the queen really enjoys how, like, honestly, what a 
what a bitch Suvi is. Like she really enjoys watching uh, Suvi like bat at, at at the others and like just play with them like like a cat toy, just like playing around. Like she's got ears and eyes and like she's listening and watching. And I think that at night when they uh when they uh hang out and just go to sleep, um that uh that's one of the things that's that's one of the like rewards kind of she's like I heard that you did this or I saw that you did that it was it was delightfully cruel or it was whatever like she just really like like the more that I do it and the more creative that I get the the more pleased that she is um and I don't definitely don't think we need a scene for that so onward Matowen The queen dun, dun, is dun. under attack. Ooh. Do you defend her? So for people who don't know, this is the final card of the game. So we are now going to go around the horn and uh, determine how people respond to the queen coming under attack. Uh, as we approach the kingdom of green, I believe that we are set upon by the army of that kingdom. Uh, they seem to be uh, inordinately knowledgeable about our defenses and uh, are able to swiftly make their way to the queen. Sorrel is, of course, at the queen's side, as they are supposed to be. And when the queen is attacked, <sighs> Sorrel, for better or for worse, defends her. Because even though they don't agree with what she's done or what she's going to do, in an open battle, their job is to protect the queen. And so that is what they do. And they hope the entire time that they are struck down and killed so that they don't have to live with the shame. Wow. Um. Amanda, yeah. did you want to go? Or? What? Oh, I thought you we were going a, around. Like, oh, no, we're going around. Right. Oh, Yay. I was just reacting. I was just reacting to what Taki said. Yeah. Um, I'm full of shit. Uh, Legwa clearly does not. Um, uh, Legwa does not um, try to save the queen or defend the queen. Um, he sees that the attack is happening and makes his way to the queen's tent as stealthily as he possibly can and works his way under the flaps um, and sees that Sorrel is standing with the queen and is like kind of heartbroken <laughs> by the betrayal, but has decided that one way or another, he is going to try and get that, um, that jewel, that gemstone out of the queen's scepter and, and hopefully finish the job that he was hired to do. All right. <clears throat> so, um, Darius is uh, trying to fight, trying to be brave, but like where earlier he was, it was a smaller battle. He was not prepared for the carnage and the bloodshed that's happening here, and the like momentary like excitement that he had before turns into utter fear. He starts cowering behind some of the the fallen soldiers, um, looking up. He sees the gaze of his queen, and she's staring daggers at him, saying, "You better come and protect me." And he sees Sorrel at her side, uh, and and they're fighting with all they have. At the same time there's the thought like that these people could turn him back into a person that for some reason he he believes what legua told him that if he's too useful he's also dead um so he puts on a show at first trying to pretend to attack some of the people flying in flying down swooping at people um but when he notices a, a little scorpion sort of trying to maneuver in the background, I think he understands exactly. And, and, and he's not a bright guy, right? He's not. 
Um, but he he has an idea. And when he should be swooping down towards an enemy, instead he swoops back towards the scepter, knocking out this big jewel that is sort of center of it. In his beak, just as he learned to sort of grab people's eyes, he has it. And he swoops down towards Legua. He's like, we gotta go. And yeah. <clears throat> not gonna do it well that's interesting um because uh <laughs> suvi absolutely uh <laughs> defends the queen because she is just blindly loyal will like just will defend with her you know last uh last breath and um is serving kind of as like the body man right like is is sticking close by and um and uh like fending off like more kind of immediate threats, uh, which probably puts her right in the sights of the two of you, um, honestly. And, uh, you know, I think we'll have to leave it to the imagination what happens, but there's definitely a, uh, a face-off that happens there where she kind of, with her very good floofy sand cat eyes, um, can notices uh, something happening out of the corner of her eye and is definitely like you leave the camera pans out and leaves you as as she is absolutely preparing to pounce and like start start some, some shit. And that is where we are going to leave off on today's episode of All Games No Masters. Uh, it was the, Our yeah, finale. the finale of the season. See, I don't know, guys. Go, go with me on this. Okay. okay what do you think? So, mm. when I originally put this show together, it was the, with the intention of doing eight episodes and done. But I don't know. I've I've had a lot of fun with all of you, and I'm really enjoying this. And there are so many other GMless games that we haven't played. So and many that, good like, ones. Maybe oh. people might enjoy seeing. So. What do y'all say we pick up and do another season of this? Yeah, okay. I can, like let me check my calendar. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm free. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I'm yeah, free. absolutely. I think so. Everybody, Let's in case you didn't Let's know, we're back for a season two. We will be continuing all games, no masters. Uh, we are going to be picking out some more games to play for all of you, and we are very excited because we've got some fun, new, interesting things on the horizon, and we cannot wait to share them with all of you. So please hold on tight because we will return with more all games, no masters. Uh, but of course you should check us out also on um, the other shows that we do. We do have a new episode of new Pantheon Academia coming on this upcoming Sunday at 4 PM Pacific daylight savings time. Um, and uh, you can check out both myself and all of the rest of my awesome crew uh, during that. Um, and then uh, let's go around and see where everybody can be found. Amanda, please tell them where the lovely people can find you. Um, well, first, I just want to say thank you to everybody who has watched, you know, over the season. Like, it's such a it's such a joy to to play with all of these folks and to to think that we're maybe entertaining you for a little while. Um, so we appreciate you keeping us company, um, and we hope that you'll tell your friends and come back for season two. But in the meantime, if you want more of this, which how could you not? Um, you can mostly find me on Twitter. <laughs> no, seriously, though, um, she's awesome and you should follow her. You can, you can mostly find me on Twitter uh, at Geek Powers. All right, uh, Randy, where can they find you? Yeah, can, can I also just say one thing that I would, I would love uh, people who are watching and are enjoying this people who find this later um we would love to hear from you guys as well so like if there are games that you want to play if there are like ideas that you have we're we're op at least i am <laughs> we're, we're open to, to <laughs> we will summarily shut randy down as quickly as we possibly can um, but <laughs> yeah uh, never had, when never i came back from japan um i was really nervous because i had spent almost like a, a good portion of being an adult there and knew no one here. And then Aki was one of the few people 
who really, who I felt really close to and who I knew from that time in my life. And it really helped bridge that gap. And for Aki to invite me to play with like two amazing gamers, like people who tell stories in ways that I, I don't know, like, I don't know. I, I, I feel really blessed and happy. And I'm glad that a lot of you guys will get to see more of this. So if you would like, you can follow me at uh, Roller Raja. That's R-O-L-L-E-R-R-A-J-A -A at Twitter. Um, and I would love to hear from you guys. So thank you. We love Randy. Randy is Ah, uh, uh, I love my Maximilian. Mm -hmm. Max, you're next. What's that? You're next, oh. my friend. Fuck. <laughs> just keeps coming around, my dude. Just oh that's, no, that's, why again? That's why the nature again? circles. Oh, <laughs> Max um, is a mystery. You can't find him anywhere. I am a ghost. Uh, I'm Max Isaacson. Christian. You can find me on Twitter at Brosis Movies. That's like brother sister movies. Um, and yes, I want to echo everybody's sentiments. So thank you all so much for watching and joining us on this wacky roller coaster. It's been an absolute hoot. Um, and <laughs> just being able to play like so many new games to try out all this yeah. good stuff and to have, you know, all of you and all of us being the giant, wonderful bonfires under our own asses to go out there and play games with our friends. Uh, you know, I know as much as you do, it's hard to get yourselves organized. So it's really good to have my ass on fire. And you brought <laughs> it back to butts. Started yeah, with butts and now it's oh. ending with butts. Wait, oh wait, That's no. How circles work, baby. Thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, Aki can, still can... needs to talk. So, we'll... <laughs> hi everybody. I am Aki. You can find me on Twitter and maybe Instagram again one day at Mix Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. My entire streaming schedule is over on my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. S H I I D A R E A K I. Um, yeah, I I am really, really thankful that I have this time to spend with all of you telling really cool stories. Um, I really want to say thank you to Dom, who uh, took a chance on me uh, when I was like, hey, Dom, I'd like to produce a show. Are you into this? And he was like, we'd absolutely love to have you on the channel. And then... Uh, I put this I put this together so that I could play more with Amanda and I really wanted to give Randy a platform to, to do something uh, for streaming and then you know uh, Amanda is ride or die with with Max when it comes to the RPG table and she really wanted to play with well, him. Well now on, it wasn't yeah. before it's like this show made it happen Aki. You've done like, this for us. You've, you've done this. Oh, no, yeah. I, just, I just zoom bombed the first game and, uh, and that yeah. was it. Like we totally just didn't expect him to be there. But yeah, I mean, like, even I was really excited because this is this is the most amount of time I've gotten to spend playing with you as well, uh, Max. And so, yeah, like, this was my opportunity to, like, get to know each and every one of you better. And I'm having a good time, and I'm excited that we're going to do more of this. So stay tuned I, for return announcements, yeah? Yeah, stay tuned for more cool stuff from the All Games No Masters crew. And again... Thank you to Dom, who, without whom we could not do any of this. If you are, uh, me, please give all your love to Dom in chat, y'all, because he's great. And anyways, remember, you do not need a game master to play fun tabletop RPGs. You just need your friends, your imagination, uh, and absolutely no masters. Uh, until next time, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you. But. <laughs>